This is Mr. Hatfield's second grade from Maplewood Elementary School, and we're here today learning about weather with Mr. Croslin. Thanks for that great introduction. What a wonderful class I'm here today talking about weather. And not only is this a great class, but we're lucky today because I would say that today's weather is nice. Would you agree? Yeah. It's nice. And so weather can be lots of things. We're going to study today some of the things that weather can be. So we're going to study weather and we're going to look at the tools that we use to make observations about the weather. And some of the tools, we're going to talk about three tools. We're going to use one, we're going to make one, and we're going to see one. Are you ready for that? Yes. So nice weather. If I said that today the weather is nice, what does that mean to you? Yes. It's sunny. It, oh, it is sunny. It means it's sunny. What else could nice weather mean? Yes. Warm. Oh, it's warm. You know, it could even be warm. But we would not want it very hot, would we? No. <laughs> and what about, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. But what does beautiful mean? Like, is it going to be windy, windy, or just a little bit of wind? Or what do you think? A little bit of wind. Uh, okay, so let's say it's going to be a light wind. Wind. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be blown across the road. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's talk about one more thing. What about... The stuff that falls from the sky, uh, rain or snow, is a nice weather. Would that have a lot of rain or snow, or would it be dry or wet? What do you think? Dry. dry. Now, of course, if you're a frog, nice weather might mean you want it to go swim or rain. <laughs> so we want it to be dry. So here we have, let's say these. So nice weather, everybody, it is usually sunny, sunny warm. warm. What's the opposite of nice weather? Bad weather. That, but there's a science word, and we're going to call it. Here's the, and we're going to call it. Severe. 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 Say severe. Severe. Severe weather means. Oh, you better take some protection. You better maybe not go out in it. Uh, so what is uh, some severe? Let's take a closer look at this. So what is severe weather? It's like a tornado. You're right. <coughs> what else? A blizzard. And a blizzard is a lot of snow. Excellent. A hurricane. A hurricane. Now, we live in Indiana. Do we get many hurricanes here? No. No, no but if you lived in... Florida, California. California. So a hurricane is severe weather. A lightning storm. <laughs> You're right. Lightning is severe. Stay away. Another one. What happens if there's so much rain there's a flood? Flood is severe weather. Never go in a flood. I got one. I don't know what it is, but I did. What's another one? Ice storm. An ice storm can be very severe because it breaks down the branches and the power lines. And boys and girls, there's one more. When it doesn't rain at all, drought. a drought. So let's add drought to our list. Now, I know we could do a lot more nice weathers, but later there's a lesson uh, in a couple weeks about what you should do when it's a tornado, a blizzard, a hurricane, lightning, flood, ice storm or drought and that's a lesson we'll do a little bit later we're going to switch gears for a minute because <clears throat> you guys did a really good job identifying nice weather and severe weather now we're going to talk about the tools that we use to make observations and measurements for weather and let's talk about something called it's a hard word everybody say it precipitation precipitation what that means is is when it snows or if there's hail, or if there is fog, or if there is sleet. But you probably know mostly what falls that's wet. It's called rain. rain. And so, what's sleet? Sleet is when it's rain that turns to ice. Rain is drops. 
fog is like it was this morning and hail is chunks of ice. And you know what snow is, right? Yeah. yeah. So all of these are different types of liquids that fall to the ground. Sometimes you can measure snow in how many inches it is. Sometimes hail, how big it is. Fog, how thick it is. And sleet, if it makes ice. But this is the tool we use to measure how much rain falls. This is called a rain gauge. This pointy thing at the bottom, you are right. You stick it in the ground. You stick it in the ground. Would this work if I stuck it in, in the ground inside the house, inside the building? No. no. Brianna, explain how this works. We use it, we put it in the ground, and we wait until the rain is done, and then we go out and see how much rain it rained. And if it rained right here, how much rain is that? Two, two inches. So this is, and then what happens at the next, when you're done that day, what do you do to it? You pour it out. You pour it out. And so this is a rain gauge. And when it fills up, thank you. That was an excellent, excellent. It goes in the ground like that. And when it rains, it fills up. And every day you can go out and you can measure how much rain. Now, if you're a farmer, why would this be important? Because the vegetables um, and for water. The vegetables. For your crops and vegetables and your grass. Rain gauge. So we'll take a look at that. I'll pass that around. Another tool we use tells if the weather is really hot, hot. hot or really cold. cold. It measures temperature. It measures temperature and temperature. What do you think that tool is called? A thermometer. A thermometer. Thermometer. That word meter means to measure and that therm means heat. And it kind of looks like this. Look, check it out. And maybe you've seen these before. If not, we're gonna see one in just a minute. A thermometer, sometimes it has an F on this side and a C on this side because there's different scales. Celsius. Oh, who said that? Fahrenheit. You're my favorite it's student Fahrenheit. right now. You said, so what does the F stand for? Fahrenheit. What does the C stand for? Celsius. My work is done here. <laughs> so they're not the same scale, but they measure the same thing. But here's what's cool about this. The thermometer has a special liquid in it. And that liquid, when it gets warm or hot, it gets bigger. And when it gets bigger, it only has one way to go. When it gets warm and hot, where does it, it go? Up. It goes up. So if we start right here, and if it's if it's warm, it gets warmer, it gets warmer, it's gonna go up. up. And if it gets cold, guess what it's gonna do? Go down. It goes down. And if it gets warm, it goes up. In fact, I have a little demonstration here of one and then we're going to look at one here is my demonstration thermometer and oh i'm starting to feel kind of cold in this room are you cold in this room no, no. what do you notice the thermometer is doing oh, yeah. oh it's almost freezing it's dirty. Oh. but the sun comes out when the sun comes out it warms up starts to expand <laughs> that's that's your body temperature that's pretty hot right there Go outside in the desert in Arizona. You want to you want to bake some cookies? <laughs> Don't go out when it's 140 degrees. But you want to make some bread? 200 degrees? How about it goes to the top? Oh my gosh! 230 degrees? Water would be boiling. Water boils right about there at 212 degrees. Let's go back to room temperature. Our room is right about 70. about 70. 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Say that. 70, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. And your body, you're warmer than the room right now. You guys have little heaters. Your body is right about here. 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Say it. 98 degrees Fahrenheit. And there's a song, a movie, you probably love this movie. Should I sing it? Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Here it goes. Ready? Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> What's up? Oh, I know you like your favorite song. Let it go is when it is what? Freezing. Freezing. What if it went down the fifty? You know what? It could even get colder than freezing. Some things like on the moon is so cold that it's like air. So this is a demonstration one for us to see. And I also have three other types that I brought today to show you. Now, the thing about thermometers, boys and girls, they're, they're, uh, they're interesting science tools. You use them to see if you're sick. The doctors use them. There's different types. But this one, I want to tell you, if you have a thermometer, you need to be careful because there's glass in it usually. And that red stuff is a kind of chemical that you shouldn't drink. But if you ever have a thermometer and it's not red, it's gray or silver, don't mess with that because it has a special stuff called mercury in it and mercury can really hurt you. You don't want to get mercury on you or in you, okay? Is it poisonous? It is poisonous. So this red is a special chemical, which is okay and safe. You just don't want to drink it and you don't want to break it. So here's a thermometer. Here's a thermometer. And I got this one out of the refrigerator. There's a refrigerator thermometer because you want food to stay cold. Would you guys like to take a look at some of these? Yeah. Okay. Hey, are these thermometers right, right now? I don't know. You tell me. This one's 10 degrees. This one's 10 and this one's 20. Are you on Celsius? Yeah, they may be wrong. Your thermometers may not all be exact, but the temperature is the same. What I want you to do is look at the red part at the bottom. And I want you to put your hand by it and blow on it with your breath, because your breath is warm, like this, and see if it goes up. Do it like five times. And look at it, did it go up? Yep, it went up. It went up? Nice. Try it again. You got it up, yeah, try it again one more time. No, get close to it. Did you get it up? <laughs> All right, that was great. We'll explore the thermometers in a moment. And so the temperature inside the room is probably around 70. When we go outside, it could be three things. It could be 70, it could be less, or it could be more. What do you think the temperature outside is going to be? Predict. 80. You think it's going to be more outside than 60. 60 or 70. 60 or 70. Well, we'll find out. Look here. We did, we did a rain gauge. We did a thermometer, and the next instrument you're going to make. Yay! You're going to make this next instrument because it has to do with this. Watch. Watch this. Ready? Wind. 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 It's wind. It has to do with wind. We're going to make a wind vane. A wind vane tells the direction that the wind is coming from. And so some of the directions the wind can be coming from are, it might be coming from the north, east, south, south east, 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 or west. I'll put the east over on this side. Is that you know, east or the west? Would you like to make a wind vane and go outside and test it? Yeah. Okay, well, let's get started. Okay, so we've passed out the materials. Let's make sure we have all of them. Do you have tape? Yes. Check. Do you have a paper plate? Check. Do you have a marker? Check. Do you have a piece of clay? Check. Do you have a piece of tissue? Check. Do you have a straw? Check. And do you have a very beautiful streamer ribbon. Yes. Check. So everybody should have these things. Tape, plate, clay, straw, tissue, marker, and a ribbon. Okay. So here's our directions. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Okay. The first thing you're going to do, let's make sure we have north and opposite of north is east. south. And then we have east, east. and the opposite is West. This is so when we go outside, we can point this to the north. Got it? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our straw and a piece of tape, about this much tape. Yes, yes? <laughs> Put it on here like this. Yes, yes? Yes, yes. If it sticks over, that's okay. 
<laughs> Got it? Got it. Yeah. Step number 45. What? <laughs> it just sounds better. <laughs> We're going to stick it on here like this. Yes, yes? Yes, yes. yes. We're making a... And you can tip bring that over. No. It's like a flag. Yeah. It is like a flag, and flags blow the wind the way the wind blows. You might, you don't have to, but you might put another piece of tape on the other side. We don't want a hurricane, you know. So, and so now, one more thing. Oh, let's take a small, this is a part kids forget, a small piece of tape. We're going to put it on here like that, right? I like just. I don't know, it's kind of for fun, <laughs> but maybe it'll blow and I'm going to stick it right here like that. And so now, would you do me something a favor? Would you blow on that really hard? Blow on it. Whoa, that's a hurricane. Stop, stop. <laughs> so wherever the wind blows, it goes that way. You blow on it. It goes that way. So we can tell which way the wind is blowing and we can tell if it's really strong or not. Now, how are we going to get it to stick in? With the clay, yeah, put that on the bottom it. and stick it to the plate. Yeah. Say that again. It was so good. What? Stick it to the, stick the, it to the end of the straw and then stick it to okay. the end So I'm going to stick it here first and push it down and get it stick, 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 stick. Like yes, that. yes. Like stick the like 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 straw in. Like and then, and then put your right straw in there. Push it down? Yeah, push it down. Oh. And then, so we have now a wind vane, and we're going to get you a sticker right here, and you know what, uh, for fun, but let's put the sticker on north, so we know when we go outside, not on the north, but near the north, so you want to put it here or up there, I don't care, where you want to put it, here, 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 here. up there, up there. there. you get to choose, but put it, oh, by the flag, no, I'm going to put it right here, so I know that that's the north. So when I go outside, I want to point mine to the north. Are you ready to make yours? Yeah! Well, let's get started. You figure it out. Go look at the model if you have to. I like it. We'll be right back when everybody's done. Okay, so we've made our weather vanes, and now it's time to go test them outside. Are you guys ready to go outside? Yeah! Is it going down? We're outside, so let's look at your thermometers right now. They might be changing. Oh, yeah. Let's go down on the sidewalk. That way is north. That way is north, so. Go on the sidewalk and place your wind vane so north is pointing that way. Put it down, let's see what happens. Point it so it's north is that way. Turn it around, no, you make sure north is that way. You need to turn yours. Turn yours so north is going the other way. There you go. Okay, do, do you, it, spread out. Are they moving? Which way are they moving? North. 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 It looks like it's northeast. It's northeast. Is it northeast? Yeah. Show me. Mine is northeast. Nice. It looks like everybody's wind vane is going to the northeast, that direction. Look at them. Now, here's my question. If it's going from the northeast, that means the wind must be coming from where? The Southwest. So you guys did a really pretty good job on this. Now take a look at your thermometer and somebody said they saw a change in their thermometer. What is your thermometer doing? It's changing. It's changing. What is it? Was it going up or down? Down. It's going down. Down. Yours is going down? Okay. Well, this has been a great day, Mr. Uh, Hatfield. Do you want to say anything at the end of the lesson? Thank you, Mr. Crossland. It's a great lesson. Yeah! <laughs> Would you say we're having nice weather or severe weather? Severe <laughs> weather! I think we're having nice weather. No.